What's going on, folks? It's me, Mikey Pipes. Monday, July 14th, 2025. Quarter to eight here in the morning in the great state of New York. Heading to my first service call, an existing residential client. One of the zones of central air conditioning is not cool in the way it should. Let's see if we can record some content, document the diagnosis and the repair. Let's go! All right, customer's complaint. Not cooling the way it used to. Two systems here. We have this carrier. And we have another carrier here. I'm gonna guess this is a four or five. I'm gonna show you something in a quick minute. Let me put my tool bag down. Yeah, this other unit is a uh, where is it? 48, four ton. See that 48? That represents 48,000 BTUs. Now, I got a C note here, hard dollar bill. See that? Okay, this is called the hundred dollar bill trick. If uh, your HVAC contract is using a dollar bill, well, maybe you should find one that has one of these in his pocket. Check this out. See that? Look at that, folks. It's not doing nothing. We have no displacement of heat to the outside. I got plenty of air moving here. See? But the fact that I can keep it like that versus you know it's gonna fly away. So what we got here, folks, is a heavily dirt, do uh, soiled coil. We got ourselves a soiled coil. All right, I pulled out all the 516 screws along the top of the condenser fan motor assembly. Now discharging the capacitor. I did pull the power plug from the disconnect. All right, our brown wire is our condenser fan motor. Let's see what other wires we got here. Yellow and black. Let's pull those out as well. That's gonna be these two. Hmm, this looks like a non-factory fan motor connection here. Unless it's, let's see. Let's see where this goes. No. Let's go into our compressor. So this black wire is our condenser fan motor. And that yellow wire is also our condenser fan motor. Now let me pull off the top. Hercules, Hercules! double row coil we may have to split this one all right I'm not taking apart this coil but I'm just do a little water test here and see I guess if I do this very very diligently I'll get through the both sides of the coil so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hose off this whole coil and then hit it with the uh, new Calgon the new bright all right, I have completely saturated the coil with water. Even got a lot of the dirt out over there. It sucks that there's not enough really play on the line set, because I want to lift up one edge to help drain out the, the water at the bottom of this condensing unit, but it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna use the uh, new Calgon, new bright, 
I'm gonna set this to uh, setting A, and we're gonna uh, fully saturate this coil with the chemical. Now, I usually fill up my new Calgon coil gun sprayer about halfway, but I went about five eighths this time, only because she's dirty. We're gonna hook this up to our nozzle and start spraying her down. All right, I've completely saturated the entire coil with the new bright. The foaming action is starting to work. All that brown and dark brown, that's dirt being eaten off the coil. Now, while this is doing its magic, I filled up my uh, coil gun with some fresh water. I rinsed that out a few times, and now we're just gonna run it through to uh, clean out the coil gun. If you don't do this, Tomorrow when you go to use it, it's all gonna be all caked up and you throw it in the garbage. So run it through a whole cycle. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's see what we can get out of this uh, coil. Wow, it's dirty. Really dirty. All right, it's gonna take me about 20 minutes to rinse this out, so I'll spare you the uh, I'll spare you the, the watching of, of this. I'm gonna do a little more share in here. I got my nozzle smack up against coil. You could just barely get some water out of it, but the water is filthy. Right, let me go back down there. And you can see all the dirt and the foam. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, man, you guys don't see this, do you? Let's see. Let's yeah, see. Look at all that dirt come out of there. Ooh. We're going to have a night and day difference here on this system, I'll tell you that. Wow. Crazy. All right. Thoroughly rinsed. And I even used the shop vac to vacuum up all the water. Well, almost all the water and dirt. Let's reassemble her and then see what happens. All right, for the moment of truth. better but no cigar and for those who think that maybe the capacitor is out to lunch five point one I gotta show you guys otherwise you won't believe me five point one let's take a look at our numbers 119 and 358 subcooling dismal. Hmm. Check the amperage on my condenser fan motor and it's normal. Interesting. Maybe fan blade. But we'll see. We'll check indoor temperature. Condenser fan motor capacitor, 7.5. I don't know if you guys can see that. Come on, baby. Come on. 7.5. We got a wrong capacitor in here. All right, I got my new AMRAD 70 over 7.5 dual capacitor installed. Let's put the cover on and see how she behaves. And what a difference a capacitor makes. Ain't that something? Crazy much better all right folks 
we are much better at removing the heat now. I know it's still not like it was, or not like the other one, but the numbers don't lie. You saw before and after, quite dismal, crazy. Someone put the wrong capacitor in. Ain't that something? Huh. And I was just about to condemn like maybe the fan blade. Maybe it's out of whack right now, but nope. <laughs> Let me just check the RPM on this thing. Maybe I have one in the truck, the motor, but look at that. It had the wrong capacitor. So I'm gonna put a five in and there it is. 70 over five when it should have been a 70 over 7.5. And now they got the Amarad capacitor box flip. Oh, didn't 